welcome to the beautiful mountains of Mid Wales. We're here today to try and find out a little bit more about this Audi's new TT RS. In theory, at least, this should be one of the most exciting fast Audis that's ever been built. Because it's a TT, it's small, it's compact, and it's very desirable. But because it's also an RS, and that means it has a 335 horsepower engine, which gives it, get this, a top speed of 174 miles per hour. Of course, the big news about the TT RS is that for the first time in a very long time, there is a brand new five cylinder engine under its bonnet. And it's, it's impossible to drive this car with that engine on roads like this without calling to mind another Audi, a rather old Audi, but one which made its reputation on these very roads 25 years ago and more, when the legendary Audi Quattro stalked these stages in rallies like the RAC Rally and the Wales Rally GB on its way to becoming known as one of the most iconic rally cars of all time. Of course, there are no prizes at all for figuring out that the TTRS makes even a 20-valve quattro feel extremely old. With over 100 extra horsepower, 0 to 60 of around four and a half seconds, totally different suspension, grip levels and braking capabilities quite beyond the imagining of anything the Quattro might be able to muster, the TTRS would very simply, and in any conditions you care to name, drive straight out of sight. The Audi Quattro has been called the most important performance car of the 1980s. It was the car that showed that four-wheel drive could be used for more than off-roaders. It defined the sporting cars of its era. And it would be another 25 years before Audi launched another performance car, which did more to enhance its reputation as a manufacturer of real driver's car. That car they called the R8. The original Quattro had a very simple 50-50 torque split front to rear, just like an old Land Rover. Uh, this one has a torsion center differential, which can send an infinitely variable amount of power to either of the axles. It has different suspension, different wheels, different tires, different brakes. And the engine, which started life as a 200 horsepower, 2.1 litre engine with 10 valves and a single camshaft, now has 20 valves, two camshafts, 2.2 litres, 220 horsepower. That would be enough to send the 20 valve quattro, as it was known, to 60 miles an hour in only a little over six seconds. That doesn't sound so great these days, but 20 odd years ago, it wasn't bad at all. Top speed was about 145. But the performance of the quattro per se was not what made us love it. It was the fact that performance was so accessible. Any time, any place, any conditions. You could just get in this car and go. And of course, we loved it for the way that it handled. This is a car with, in my view, the best steering of any Audi, R8 included. You felt so in touch with this car, so at one with this car. By Audi standards, and indeed by any standards, it really was a revelation. And then, of course, there was that curious offbeat, but always wonderful, five-cylinder noise. The real difference between these two is that while the old Audi Quattro, when it came out, was the greatest car Audi had ever made, the TT RS isn't even the greatest TT. It's good looking and it's fast, but for the money, others do it better. As for the old car, it's not just a good car, it's not even merely a great car, it is a true milestone in the history of performance cars. Its time may be long since gone, but its memory will undoubtedly live on forever.